Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Uh, Chicago, the laughing stock of America. That place is a shithole. Well, Jackson, Mississippi, that's pretty bad, too, you know. Jackson, Mississippi? You know what that, those Them two, Negroes down there ain't got no sense. You know, those two, <laughs> you, you know what those two cities have in common? What? Diversity. <laughs> There, there's a such thing, Keith, it's too much diversity. No, they just got the wrong You person. can never have enough white people, though. But you can have too much diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Look, white people, y'all ain't perfect, but I love living around you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, white people got standards, man. Black people got standards. Yeah, some of them do. <laughs> some white people do, too. Yeah, but a majority of white people got standards. Hey, Kevin, come on now. No, nah, man, I'm, I'm over here spitting facts. <laughs> you over here sound like a white supremacist. No, man, I'm spitting facts. Facts can't be racist. Hey, uh, so I'm going to show you this story from Chicago. I love me some black people, though, man. I couldn't live without black people. Hey. But the problem is you can't live with them. It's <laughs> <laughs> a damn catch-22 with these Negroes. That's a double-edged sword right there. Yeah, it's a damn catch-22 is what it is. Yeah, Um. so... Just when I thought, I've seen it all. Oh, you can, yeah. Just, you, just shut up. You gotta just stop. turn on the news and watch Chicago. You got to stop doing that to yourself, man. What? That's what I say that all the time, man. It's, it, it's starting to sound so cliche. It's starting to sound corny. Cliche. It's a cliche. Huh? It's, a cliche. Yeah. it's nothing that a Democrat won't do. <laughs> In Chicago, yeah. It's no level they won't stoop to, man. Check out this, um... This incident at a drive-thru window at a fast food restaurant, not by somebody coming through the drive-thru, mm. somebody that works in the drive-thru. Really? The employees. And, of course, it's somebody of diversity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure white people, white people, y'all do some bad stuff, too, but y'all do it like when it's okay to do it. Like, y'all drop bombs on Japan, right? Say, yep, we won the war. <laughs> Black people just do it for like just to get the last word in. Yeah, you yeah, know, check this video out. You know, Shut white up. people do things for a reason. Black people they do they, they do it out of the mo out of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss a nigga off. <laughs> they are irrational. <laughs> <laughs> check this out. Tonight, shot at over an argument about curly fries. That's the allegation in a lawsuit filed against Look, Jack the employee in the box and shooting at the car. <laughs> But that is crazy. That is nuts. The, the, the attorney for the family who was she's looking out the window to see if she got him. Just released the shocking video. ABC 13 got a Jessica mask on. Is live at the restaurant. That is crazy. What all happened, Jessica? Yeah, look. Eric, attorney hey, pause Michael it. And hey, you know how these uh, you know how these news states they always put the white person out there. <laughs> well, we got a something going on. <laughs> <laughs> They put the white blonde hair woman out there. Well, white hair. I mean, blonde hair, yeah. blue eyes. Yeah. It's, it's, like, not, it's like they trying to stir that pot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Look at this. Scheduled a news conference. That's my kind of woman. See how broad our shoulder is? I like a woman with broad shoulders. Airport. He tells me he recently got this video through a discovery request. The employee has already served her sentence, but in a lawsuit filed by that family from Florida, they say they want to still hold the restaurant accountable. The order, a number two with curly fries. After wow. the mother and her like six-year-old daughter landed in Houston. Number two, number two, the father two. picked them up, placed Butter the order at this jack-in-the-box on JFK Boulevard near Bush Airport. Fifteen minutes that. later, they were speeding out of the drive through trying to avoid gunfire. In just released video, employee Alania Ford seems agitated with customer Anthony Ramos. He is in the driver's seat, according to a lawsuit. His pregnant wife is in the passenger seat, and their six-year-old daughter is in the back. They paid $12.99 for a combo, the lawsuit says, but didn't get the curly fries they ordered. <laughs> Not even halfway into the dispute, the video shows Ford ready a gun. Minutes later, and with another employee, she throws ice and condiments through the window <laughs> before firing at least twice at the family. Ford what? was initially charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of deadly conduct, got one year deferred adjudication, and completed it, court records show, what? in June. 
The family from Florida filed the lawsuit after the guilty plea, claiming Jack in the Box was negligent for not keeping customers safe from potentially dangerous employees. In its original answer, Shoot Jack in the, the Box too. denied all allegations, writing they have no control over or legal responsibility for a third party like Ford. Her plea also prohibits her from possessing a firearm in the future. The family and their attorney returning nice to the piece. crime scene for a news conference tomorrow really morning. Easy. Jessica Willie, ABC. That is crazy. You so much news. jail time she got for what she did? That's a good piece. Like a, hey, she got like, what, a year for what she did? What she do? What? What she do? I, I wasn't paying attention. That was, I was too, I was, I was, that was a nice piece she carrying. You can conceal it real easy. You didn't uh, catch your, how much the uh, Jack in the Box worker got? How much jail time she got? Yeah, she did a year. Something like that. That was a nice gun. You can conceal it. I could put that gun hey, up Kevin. under my hat. I could put that gun up under my hat and, and like nothing. That's a real small gun. I like that. Hey, Kim, what the fuck is you? Me. What do you mean it's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I heard, yeah, she did some jail time. I think she should have got a lot more jail time. You don't say. I think she should have got at least 20 years. At least. Mm, I say 30. I'm just saying at least. Nah, nah. See, you need to be tough on crime. At 20 years, that's not going to fly with me. See, I'm tough on crime. What are you, liberal, Keith? 20 years. She should get 30. Got his pregnant wife. And if she do anything wrong in prison, add five more. Yeah, got his pregnant wife in the car, got the child in the back. Only in Chicago. Well, black people are privileged nowadays. They treat them different. That's why. You don't say. Yeah, that's what happened, man. You I mean, tight, shut up. You tight on gun. Okay, you strict with gun laws. But when somebody use a gun, uh -huh. you give them a year? It's hypocrisy, Keith. It's the snake eating itself. <laughs> no, see, this is what happens when you elect someone like the mayor. This is what happens when you elect someone based on attributes other than merit. That hey. nigga got this job for being a nigga. Hey, right? Man. Take it easy. This nigga can get no jail Take time. Take it easy, man. Because she's a nigga. Lose and you burn, man. You know what? Hey, hey. Give hey, me my damn I... horse and my damn burning cross. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will you calm down? Just calm down. This is nuts. Maybe he said something to her. Maybe call it the N word. You know how Mexicans get. <laughs> he was Mexican. Yeah, his name. He had a. You missed that. See, I was paying attention. You get mad at me because you thought I wasn't paying attention, but you didn't notice the driver was a uh, Latino. No, you joke too damn much. Oh man, it's a comedy show. No, we're journalists. We journalists and we comedians. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he called it the N word. Cause she did pull a gun out. Kevin. I mean, usually if a gangster gonna pull a gun out. You got to do something. Kevin, just because somebody call you the N-word, you get to pull your gun out and start shooting. Well, that's easy for you to say that. What? It's easy for you to say that. I got mad. Sometimes I lost my cool. I did some crazy stuff. Remember that dude you jumped out of the car on that, um, uh, he called you the N-word? You jumped out of your car, and he beat you with a baseball bat. Remember that? <laughs> I was like 19 at the time. I was immature. So, well, you think you better than that black woman? <laughs> Keep, keep, keep getting a road rage incident. Dude called, keep the N-word, keep the pull! <laughs> keep getting out of the car. Dude, the dude got out of the car with a baseball bat. He was taking his kid to baseball practice. Let me tell the story. So I get out the car, he get out the car. He get out, he's in full baseball uniform, and he's got a baseball bat. Yeah. He's white. This little kid is going, hey, daddy, get back in the car. <laughs> he's probably taking his kid to a little league game. Well, What's he up? called you the N-word. See how easy it is to lose your cool and you do things because you're not rational. Yeah. I'm thinking he might have said some racial to him. No, don't, 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 don't uh, stand up for that uh, damn criminal in the drive through at Jack in the Box. He probably he didn't say nothing like that. Well, there's two sides to every story. I don't condone what that Negro did at the drive through. I do not condone that. I do not condone that. But yeah. I'm telling you, he, he probably called it n word. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put a gun on him <laughs> in the drive through. <laughs> he did something. 
He did something. He didn't say he, that. She pulled a gun on him. Can I please have my credit files? What? Don't you talk to me? Did she pull a gun? No, he said something crazy, and she went crazy. Because that's a rough neighborhood. I'm more likely where do he live at. I mean, it's two sides to every story. I'm not condoning. I mean, I understand your point of view. If yeah. you want to get shot, go to Chicago, go up to a black president, and call the man word. You're probably going to get shot. I'm not saying that happened. I'm just speculating over you. Whatever. I don't know what happened. But he must have said something to her. This, this, uh, this exemplifies how ass-backwards Chicago is. Y'all strict on gun laws. But then you're but not then, tough on gun crimes. But you're not tough on the actual crime when somebody commits it, unless they're white, of course. They're well, white. Yeah, throw the book at them. Yeah. It's a sorry old Negro working in Jack in the Box. Oh, man, she's just black and stupid. She don't know no better. Yeah, they don't, they don't she's use... pole. She's, she's, yeah. a, she's, she's a product of systemic <laughs> racism. Yeah, they don't even know how to use the computer or get a driver's license. Yeah, that's what Joe Biden It's said. not their fault they're stupid and, in, and inferior. And black. <laughs> I think it's one of our best. Hey, I it's give... up there. I think it's top five. Hey, our giveaway's almost up. It's the last week. Give them away. It's not the right. last week. It's four days left. It's four days you're left. Going, you're going, you'll make these people miss the contest. We give it away a Ram 2500 diesel pickup truck. Got an Allison transmission and a Cummins engine in there. That Cummins and that tranny. Man, that's a good. That's some good Cummins in there. <laughs> Go to officialharshtwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. You didn't win the truck and the cash. Yeah.